There's one other thing that I, I thought was just incredibly, uh, not just interesting and fun, but really inspiring. And that was where we just came from. Meeting these young women who have entered the cybersecurity field. And you know, it's remarkable because it doesn't matter where you are in the world, there's just this extraordinary shortage of women entering cybersecurity. Yes. And I was so struck by their comments, and one in particular, the woman who talked about coming from a humble background, uh -huh. and suddenly she finds herself with this opportunity to have such an impact. And I guess that to me is something of the dream that has been possible for so many people who've entered technology. Uh -huh. And to meet people here in the next generation, really breaking their own new ceiling, if you will. Um, I always enjoy that part of a trip. It's probably been one of my favorites, to be honest, is, is seeing not just a new generation, but a different generation. You know, for so long, and, and you alluded to this, uh, it, you know, the world was defined because of where it was. And I mean, that's history, that's time. But as you said, what India has done and how it's grown during the pandemic, you can see not just in the country, not just in some of these companies we speak to, not just in some of the, you know, the tech and entrepreneurs that we meet, but you see it in, in a program like Cyber Siksha, where you mm -hmm. have these young women who are essentially at the forefront of building up, you know, a cybersecurity army. And, and, and they're gonna be the ones who in many ways build up what will become an industry that is, you know, going to be fundamental because of how much the industry is going to grow. And, and I think what's particularly interesting about it is where they come from in their lives, yeah. in the country, you know, coming from smaller regions in India, coming from smaller cities, coming from smaller families, and understanding that this will now be the path that leads them, uh, you know, and, and the rest of the people in their lives to a better world. And at the same time, what they're doing is protecting everybody in the world, yeah, you know, with their data, their information, their money, their, their, their livelihood. Yeah. And I, 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 I loved seeing the, um, you know, the, in many ways, the natural cohesion between those stories. Um, it was, it, I think that's the most inspiring thing I've seen about India is it is a country where despite where it is, it does not seem to be limited in the idea of what it could be. And so maybe that's, that's been yeah. the most exciting part of this journey, you know, even, even where we are right yeah. now, you know, you're in a, in a country where, you know, everyone would think, you know, nothing is possible because of all the limitations, because of where it's been, the poverty or the, you know, the gap of rich to poor, etc. And yet, you know, the space program is one of the most advanced in the world. You know, they figured out ways to launch rockets at a fraction of the price. They've, they've figured out ways to continue growing yeah. a country that's the size of Europe. You know, we've learned so many things on this trip. And I think that's, that's probably been the most inspiring part of coming to India is understanding why it is what it is, understanding that fundamentally it's just the people who navigate through the traffic and you know everything from a bus all the way to a rickshaw and still find a way <laughs> to get where they're going. I think that's right. And speaking of getting somewhere, I know when people have asked us on this trip, what were we looking forward to in coming to India? Both you and I had a similar reaction. The food. <laughs> it's time for dinner. Should we go? Time for, I feel like we just had lunch, and I feel like we just had a snack, and I feel like we just... <laughs> Welcome to India.